Hey guys, this video is so overdue. Uh, in fact, my box is like overflowing. I had to balance some of this stuff on top of it and even then it would not stay. So it's definitely been time to do one of these videos. So this is my candle empties, or these are my candle empties for past couple of months. Um, lots of summer scents. I did actually did a very good job with a lot of these because um, I was not bad about being kind of ADD with my candle selection. Normally, I can't stand to burn the same candle or smell the same scent um, you know, a couple times in a row. But some of these, like, I stuck with them until the end, once I started burning them. So very proud of myself there. Okay, so we have, to begin with, this small Pure Radiance candle in Escape. This scent was a very tropical, fruity type scent. It reminded me a lot of... If you remember, Bath & Body Works had a scent called Island Nectar many years ago. Um, I think it's got, it's got like that kind of sharp fruity note to it. Like maybe there's some passion fruit in here, probably some pineapple, maybe some citrus. Uh, so it's one that's like, it's tart enough that I actually enjoy it. It ends up not being too sweet. I usually don't like tropical scents because of that. Um, and then I think Yankee actually did a candle called like Wild Passion Fruit or Wild Passion Flower. That is this, I uh, think if, if it's not the same, it's very similar to this. So if you're familiar with that one, then you would know what this one smells like. So I did enjoy this size. It didn't have too much of a a throw, but um, I don't know. I kind of liked it. That's one I got when they were seven dollars. Okay, then I have Kringles Under the Sea. This I got during their clearance where they were getting rid of this style of candle, and this candle smells a lot like early sunrise. I think it's supposed to be lemon like a white tea scent and then some woods. Uh, but I think early sunrise is a little bit better. I actually, I don't know, I, I got some scent from this and it looks like I'm probably, yeah, not even finished with this. I didn't burn it down all the way. But um, yeah, just didn't really care for this. And these candles have so much soot. And I mean, this is after cleaning it a couple of times. So, um, yeah, the soot really builds up, and I'll show you that again on this other one. So, I don't think that this is this scent is still available, but I wouldn't get that again. And then I also finished Vanilla Lavender. Um, same kind of deal. Lots of soot. And this one, I think, had a pretty decent throw. It is the same Vanilla Lavender as Bath & Body Works, or Vanilla Lavender combination as Bath & Body Works Lavender Vanilla, which is a very creamy lavender, almost like a gourmand type of scent. I do like the these types of jars with this, this gingham style on them. I was thinking about trying to hold on to these and just putting some tea lights in here, votives. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if I really have the space for that. But this one, I would get, probably get this one again in their new um, two wick style jars. From Yankee, I have this pineapple and red berry sangria. Uh, this one, did I finish this? It looks like I did get all the way down to the bottom. This is a very sharp um, kind of, I, I mostly get like an orange scent from this, I want to say. Um, very citrusy, very tart. It was fine. It had a decent throw to it, I guess. Um, 
burned pretty well. It did have some soot. Um, it's no longer available, but I don't think I would get it again if it, if it were. From Bath & Body Works, I have Strawberry Rhubarb Marmalade. This one I actually haven't finished. Still could go a little bit longer, but frankly, I don't care for this scent. There's something about it. It just smells very artificial and it almost smells like the Strawberry Picnic candle, not as creamy. But yeah, there's almost like this perfume, maybe even a, like an outdoorsy note to it or something. Just don't like it. And this candle actually had some trouble burning. I guess when it got to about right here, it, you know, it had the puny wick syndrome, drowning wick syndrome. Um, yeah, disappointed in that one. I prefer their, um, just their plain strawberry scent over this one, which I don't think they carry the strawberry scent anymore. And from Yankee, I have Open Air. And this, um, it's kind of a masculine scent. It reminds me quite a bit of Sparkling Icicles from Bath & Body Works. I got this one. Um, I loved the container. I love the container on this. Love the I don't even know what you would call it. It almost looks like a plaid or flannel kind of look. These candles, I got this in the, the tea time candle. They are gorgeous when they burn. Um, and the scent throw, I guess, was, it was pretty decent. So, um, what was the, what were the notes in this? I think it's like lavender and cedar and, I don't know, maybe an ozone. Definitely is a masculine scent. And this one is an oldie. Oh, I had so much trouble burning this. This is Granny Smith. Oh, I've had this candle since, I want to say I got this in like 2009. So, um, one, I, one time I knew one of the employees at the Yankee by me whenever, whenever it was open. And she really liked this scent and she talked me into getting it which I wish that I hadn't. I think I got this at a semi-annual sale, though, when they would, would do the... What was the sale they would do? It was like two for 25, and then they always had like a 10 off a $25 purchase coupon available. So during the semi-annual, you could get jars for seven, I guess about $7. So yeah, I didn't pay a whole lot for this one. But yeah, this, I don't know, it, it's just a, yeah, it's got that, that tart green apple smell. It's definitely different from like a sweet red apple, uh, but it, it does kind of smell artificial and this one smells kind of like a little bit waxy. I, and I ended up putting on my warmer. You can see like, look at the mess that this was. So, and it may be my fault because I hate the large jars. I try not to get them just because I don't have the time to mess with them like and wait for them to get a full wax pool. So, I generally try to avoid them. Then I have on top of my big pile here, this is a swirl candle in Summer Daydream, which is a blend of Summer Wish and Loves Me, Loves Me Not really enjoyed this scent. I like both of these quite a bit. And I don't know, it's like Summer Wish has that kind of green dandelion smell. And Loves Me, Loves Me Not has like a peppery daisy kind of smell. So these two scents work perfectly together. They're a great combination. Um, in fact, I don't know. I wonder if I could get more scent out of this. I think the last time I put this on my warmer, I couldn't, I couldn't get it. But um, these candles, the swirl candles, are notorious for tunneling, and that one definitely did. 
another old one. This is Summer Fresh. And this one, I was so excited when this came back as a treasure. I forget when it, when it was. I want to say like 2010, something like that, maybe later. And I used to love this scent. I remember when it was out in the main line. That was a point at a point in my life where I really couldn't afford Yankee candles and I didn't have like the closest one was about an hour and a half away from where I lived. So, um, but I knew the scent and I really liked it and I had a votive in it. And so I was like so happy when they brought it back. It's kind of like a lemon, a grass meets lemon kind of scent. So, but like, I don't enjoy it as much now. In fact, it almost has, I don't want to say like a Windex kind of smell to it, but I, I get kind of a glass cleaner type of scent. So this one, yeah, I had when I started it, I was like very close to the top and I just wanted to get rid of it. So I kind of just plowed through it. Three wick in blueberry scone. Fabulous, fabulous candle. I had no trouble with this one. Uh, I've had trouble with Yankees three wicks in their marbled wax. I think candied apple was one that gave me problems, but like blueberry scone. This is either my second or third one in the three wick. And it just has always burned pretty much perfectly. Um, blueberry scone is one of those you know, we all know and love it. It is so strong. It seems to always be packed with oil. And I think that really helps with the burn. So yeah. Um, I think I'm down to like one, I have one tumbler left in blueberry scone. So I'll probably be saving that one for a while. But yeah, I can't believe that they decided to discontinue that scent. From Bath and Body Works, Black Baltic Pearl. This one, oh yeah. I, I dumped the wax out because I did want to save this jar. Um, this sounded so intriguing. Let's see. It's supposed to be a combination of exotic sandalwood, lush suede, and jet black spices. So I love the concept behind this, and the wax was a gorgeous royal blue color. Of course, the, the jar itself is beautiful. But I, I ended up not caring for the scent too much. And one thing, one of the things that reminded me of a long time ago, Glade had a scent called Country Garden. It may still be available in some places in some forms. And it's a very like powdery floral, like powdery potpourri, floral potpourri kind of scent. And this reminds me quite a bit of that. It makes me think of like... <laughs> I want to say like the late 80s and early 90s because I think that was kind of the height of that scent or when it first came out. Yeah, not a fan of this one. From Goose Creek, I finished off Orchid Cassis. And this is another very beautifully burning candle, but it pretty much had no scent and... Towards the end, the scent that I got from it was pretty unappealing. It just kind of smelled like hot wax. So I would not recommend this scent. But um, yeah, I'm happy to, you know, have the jar to use in the future. From Colonial Candle, this is Vanilla and Vetiver. I really like this scent. This one is not quite finished. Well, yeah, it's definitely got a long ways to go, but it has, this wax has melted completely and now it's starting to smell smoky and sooty and kind of yucky. So I think I'm just going to get rid of it. But this is such an interesting scent because it smells very sophisticated and several people have noted, and I agree that this has like a pineapple smell to it, but it's not a very fruity, sweet pineapple. It's almost like, 
don't know, if you took a pineapple and dried it or something, uh, and there's maybe a tiny green note in it. Very, very nice. I do have a 22 ounce in this, so um, I don't feel bad about getting rid of that. Then I have Beach Cabana from Bath & Body Works. This is Sweet Jasmine, Orange Blossom, and Fluffy White Towels. I really like this scent. To me, this is like such a sexy summertime scent. It's really that blend of, of the, I think, the jasmine and the orange that, that do this. But yeah, it's like the epitome of, I don't know how to describe it. It's just a beautiful scent. I really like this one. Unfortunately, this candle burned horribly. Like the first burn, it was gorgeous because the, the blue wax really lit up and the wax pool was, was beautiful. But then, um, ever since then, it's just had this black mess. Okay, then I have another squirrel candle from Yankee. This is Sweet Dreams. This is lavender, vanilla, and soft blanket. And again, another one that I love. Although I have to say, this mostly smells like soft blanket. But I don't know, maybe the scents are... Yeah, I mostly get soft blanket from this. I'm not sure about the whole lavender vanilla thing, but it is nice. Uh, I would definitely, if this were available, you know, I would consider getting this again or at least blending those two scents or burning them together. From Bath & Body Works, we have Lonnie Kai Coconut. I started off really liking this scent Kind of towards the end of winter, like about February, March, I really start craving coconut scents. And that's when I started this one. But by the time I finished it, which I guess was about mid-summer, I was kind of sick of it. But it is um, a very good coconut scent and a gorgeous label there. Okay, then I have, oh, this is Black Sands. Um, I have to admit, I mainly got this one because I loved the color of this glass, the ombre. And the scent, I did enjoy it, even though it is pretty masculine. Um, I had it, I think, mostly burning in my bathroom where I had the wallflower plugged in. So I wasn't exposed to it all the time. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I might get this one again in the future. I actually kind of, I kind of enjoyed it more than I thought I was going to. This one was Beach Day. And it's, let's see, saltwater, lemon leaves, and citrus musk. I do like this candle quite a bit, or this scent. The candle was was fine. Um, I do have this in Wallflower and like it in that form better. This has a, a cologne scent to it, but it it's like something, some kind of scent that my dad wears. So this reminds me of my dad. And in the, the Wallflower, you don't get as much of the, well, you don't get any of the like burning smell that you get with the candle, because this is one where I think having the wicks lit affects the smell of the candle. And the wallflowers don't do that, obviously. All right, then I have tea and lemon, or London Calling. This was kind of a weird one for me because I started off enjoying it. Because I really did find, it smells like the, uh, the canned Lipton iced tea. And then as I got towards the middle of it, I, was, I didn't like it anymore. So I put it on my finish list and like stuck it in, in one of the bedrooms that I don't really go in all that much. And it's funny because when I started burning it again to finish it, I started enjoying it again. So I don't know what's up with that. 
was towards the end of this the summer I guess around August that I finished this so maybe it is a good scent to burn when it's like hot weather I want to say this originally came out in like a cold weather season maybe after Christmas or something um, I don't know I don't know if I would pick this one up again I might if I become um, very wealthy and can just like, I, I don't even know what to do with my money anymore. <laughs> oh, I still have so much in here. Oh, wow. I finished this a long time ago. This is Trefoils from Yankee. My first burn with this, the first couple of burns were great. I had burned this at work and I could really smell it and it was a delicious scent. My coworkers commented how great it smelled. But then as I got further down, I find I couldn't smell it as much anymore. So I have another one of these that I bought when they were $7. I may return it. I don't know yet. This was Guava Colada from Bath and Body Works. I got this during the semi-annual sale. Really got it because I liked the, the color of the jar. The scent was all right. It's like a, you know, fruity coconut. Wouldn't get that one again. Wow, this is old too. I don't remember when I finished this. From Colonial Candle, this is the Paris collection. Uh, the scent is River Seine. And I don't really remember getting a strong smell from this. It is kind of a masculine cologne type scent. Not impressed with that. From Yankee, I finished Warm Sugar. Oh man, I fell in love with this scent whenever it was released in this collection. This is a Spoonful of Sugar collection. It's so unique. It reminded me of something from middle school that I can't place, but I think it's got some maple in it. Maple is one of the, was one of the words in the description. And it's also like a, almost like powdery type of scent. It's interesting, very interesting. Like baby powder meets maple or something. I do have another one of those, so I'll be um, burning that again at some point. Colonial Candles Topaz Waters, in the eight ounce version. Man, this candle is beautiful to look at. This wax is a gorgeous color and it goes along nicely with this, but I just can't stand the smell of it. It's one of those syrupy, sweet cologne type scents. So I'm, and also like the wax was starting to smell bad as I got to the bottom. So I'm getting rid of that. Uh, what else is in here? Okay, this is Pearlescent from the Pure Radiance line. I didn't like this one at all it smelled it's very floral but it, it smelled too elderly lady for my liking so um somehow made it through that one it was pretty when it when i got it though like the white wax was stunning pink lemonade pound cake it's funny because this one when i first started burning it i could not smell a thing and then one day I took it over to my parents' house when I was visiting and I put it in the bedroom and I was burning it and I walked in and it smelled so amazing <laughs> uh, that I actually got a second one during the semi-annual sale for last winter, I think. So I did end up finishing this one and yeah, it's, it's a pretty nice scent. I like it. Oh, gross. This was like one of the worst candles I've ever burned. This is a Woodwick Escape Collection. The scent is Mountain View. And I got this on sale. Yeah, it was like half price at a local gift shop. So I picked it up. Um, couldn't really tell what this scent was supposed to be. Sometimes it smelled outdoorsy or a little bit cologne -y. Other times it smelled like it was supposed to have a fiery or a, like a fireside kind of note but man this wick right here just 
it was horrible. Like it, it got a wax pool really fast, but the, um, the wick was kind of scary and it's actually very hard to trim this wick because of the, the shape of it um, and how like thick it is. So I would not get any candles from this collection and the scent, it didn't really have a scent when it burned. Okay. I finished this. Um, it was the coconut collection from Yankee number three. This is the coconut Mandarin. Amazingly enough, I really liked this scent. I loved the jar too. This is this is pretty, very elegant. Um, yeah, it had like the perfect amount of that citrus and coconut kind of smell. So I was happy to have that one. So I finished a summer boardwalk. I want to say I don't know if this is my. I think this is my second summer boardwalk three wick that I finished. You know, we all know this scent really doesn't need an introduction. It's always very strong. I think I did have a little bit of trouble with this one burning um, somewhere along the way, but it fixed itself and I love it. And this one is Bamboo Garden from Colonial. And this is interesting. It's it's woodsy, but there's like a little bit of floral in it. I think the description said it has some rose. It's nice because it's not, not too big of a fan of like the green grassy types of scents, but this one had enough of that like kind of pretty flowery scent to it that the scent is nice. Now burning, I really didn't get much from it. Um, oh, I finished this little mini candle and blackberry grapefruit. I ended up putting this in my warmer. This was from years ago. And this is, this scent was notorious for um, having a terrible burn in the three wick. And of course my three wick, I can't even burn the thing. Um, and then, but like everybody commented how unique the scent was and how they did such a good job blending this and they, Wish that they would bring it back, but improve the, the candle itself. Um, and the scent description on this, in case you're wondering. Fresh from the orchard, a luscious blend of sun and blackberries and juicy grapefruit with a touch of creamy sandalwood. And yeah, it's mostly... I almost want to say it's like... I get kind of like a blackberry tea scent, and it's pretty sweet. So... Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll see that one come back at some point. Who knows? And I finished some wallflowers. Oh, sorry. Oh, and I forgot about this one. This is from Colonial. This is Desert Sun, which is kind of a masculine scent. Slightly peppery. It's been a while since I burned this, so I can't really remember. <laughs> Sorry. And it's not a strong scent. Uh, I finished, oh, there's my Black Sands Wallflower, which like I said, was turned out to be pretty good. I finished Coco Lobo. Um, I really like this scent. There is something about Coco Lobo that's different. And I don't know what it is. It almost has like an edible note to it. Um, it's very creamy, <sighs> and I don't remember what the description of this scent was. Um, I finished the summer boardwalk along with my um, candle. Garden bouquet. This one is like that peppery, daisy, dandelion kind of scent. Um... Oh, and then I'll go ahead and talk about this one. I have this going right now, but I can't really smell it. It's weird. Pair some more. I love pair some more, but like the wallflower smells nothing like the body care. When I first plugged it in, in fact, it smelled like a men's cologne. 
um, it's, it's in my, my master bath and I'll walk in there occasionally and kind of smell something. And I guess it's the wallflower, but who knows? And then finally, I'm about to finish this one. This is in my car right now. Frosted cupcake. This is great. I'm actually having pretty good luck smelling this and it's lasted for quite a while. I can't exactly remember how long it's been in there. I know probably about a month and I still get, you know, whiffs of it. Not all the time, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with that. I would probably get more of these. So, and I can't believe it. That is it. So I know lots of stuff. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to be plowing through quite a few more things um, to try to get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever be able to get on a schedule with these things, but we'll see. Um, it would be good for me to do that, but my life is kind of chaotic, so I... Getting to these is like not my my priority right now. So all right. Well, uh, thanks everybody. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you later. Bye